This is a laboratory. Not sophisticated as expected. Only some milk bottles with fruit flies, but one of the finest laboratories in the history of science. It is fondly called as Morgan's Fly Room, the birthplace of modern genetics at Columbia University, where Morgan and his students worked on fruit flies to reveal the mysteries behind genetic inheritance and linkage. In the last video, we discussed about the relationship between independent assortment, linkage and crossing over. In this video, let us understand how Morgan carried out his epic experiment in stepwise manner within 5 to 10 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing our channel. Morgan was working on Drosophila melanogaster or fruit flies. He found out that majority of the fruit flies are red-dyed and he called it as normal or wild type. To his surprise, he caught a white-dyed mutant. He called it as a mutant as it is a rare one and this famous white-eyed fly changed the course of genetics. Let's begin with his conclusion to understand better. Morgan's experiment concluded that white eye color is a sex-linked recessive trait. The gene for eye color is physically located on X chromosome. How he reached this conclusion? Let's begin with the first cross. He crossed red-eyed female with white-eyed male. So red-eyed female, this is the white-eyed male, the famous white-eyed mutant fly. So as expected, all had red eyes, both female and male had red eyes. To understand better, let us write down the genotype. X plus is a red-eyed trait or wild type. XW is the white-eyed trait, W indicates the white-eyed trait. So this is homozygous X plus X plus, the wild mutant red fly. And this is white-eyed XWY as this is a male. It is having a Y chromosome, only one X chromosome that is with this white trait. Now let us draw the Punnett square. It's better to draw this Punnett square along with me to understand this concept better. So these are the female gametes X plus and X plus. And these are the male gametes X, W and Y. So the offsprings are X plus X, W, then X plus Y, X plus X, W and X plus Y. As expected, all had red eyes. And Morgan suspected that this white eyed trait is a recessive trait, just like Mendel proposed. So it is unexpressed in the F1 generation just like a recessive trait. So he want to confirm this, whether this white eye trait is a recessive trait. So he did the second cross. Here, red-eyed female that is formed in the F1 is mated with red-eyed male that is formed in the F1. Or the flies, the males and the females that is formed in the F1, the red-eyed flies is mated with one another. And this would be the genotype X plus XW as this is a hybrid or heterozygous F1, red-eyed female. And this will be, for red-eyed, it will be X plus Y. As expected, he got the 3 to 1 ratio as Mendel suggested. So let us work out this. X plus and XW are the female gametes. Male gametes are X plus and Y. So the offsprings are X plus X plus. Then X plus Y, XW or X plus XW and XWY. He got 3 to 1 ratio where 3 flies are red and 1 fly is white. But he had an important observation. Only male flies had white colored eye. Even though 3 to 1 ratio is there as per the Grigor Mendel's ratio, but here only the male flies had this white eyes. So this is a deviation from the normal pattern. So this is the white eyed male fly and this is the genotype XWY. He suggested that white eyed trait is carried on X chromosome. That is why it is present only in males. But there is one more problem. In all these offsprings, there are no white-eyed females. So, is this white eye is lethal to females? He want to confirm that. 
To confirm that white tie is not lethal to females, he did the next cross. He used red-eyed female of F1, which is heterozygous, and white-eyed male, the famous white-eyed mutant. This is heterozygous X plus XW, then XWY. Then they asked this is heterozygous if this gene is lethal, there won't be any female white fly. Then he carried out the cross. As expected, he got 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio as per the Mendelian ratio, where there are red-eyed and white-eyed females, red-eyed and white-eyed males. So this was the cross. The gametes were X plus and XW. Here it will be XW and Y. And the offsprings were X plus XW, then X plus Y, XW, XW and XWY. So he got this white-eyed female confirming that this white eye color is not lethal to females, thus ruling out that possibility. Now he had a white-eyed female. He confirmed that white eye is not lethal to females. Then he finally did the most crucial cross, the confirmatory reciprocal cross. He used the white-eyed female that is formed in that F2. The genotype will be XW, XW. As this white eye trait is a recessive trait, it should be in homozygous condition to express in females. Then he used the red-eyed male, that is X plus Y. Now he know that white eye color is a recessive trait. He has already confirmed that. Then he predicted that white eyed female would be homozygous recessive. If white eye color is a recessive trait, then it should be homozygous in order to express in a female as it is a recessive trait. Then males inherit only X chromosome from the females. So in this cross, all males will be white eyed as this X chromosome, XW, will be inherited by the males or from the mother. He predicted that all male offsprings resulting from this cross between this white-eyed and red-eyed will be white-eyed, whereas all the female would be red-eyed as this X chromosome will be inherited from the male. As this X plus is a dominant trait, it will mask, mask this as XW trait or white eyed trait. Let us see what happened. His predictions was true. He got all females as red eyed and all males white eyed. Let us see the cross. So this is XW, XW, homozygous, white eyed female. As white eyed is a recessive trait, it should be homozygous. Then red eyed trait that is X plus Y. Then the offsprings are X plus XW, that is red, whereas XWY, that is white-eyed, white-eyed male, then XW, X plus XW, then again red-eyed female, and XWY, white-eyed male. So this XW is present in females, but it is masked by the dominant trait, that is X plus, whereas this males becomes white-eyed as it receives the X chromosome from the females or from the mother. So males has only one X chromosome. So there is no recessive or dominant, whatever is there that will be expressed. So the XW that is received from the mother is expressed. That is why all males becomes white. He confirmed for the first time that the gene for white eye color is physically located on the X chromosome. He was the first one to provide experimental evidence for chromosome theory and linkage. Genes are present on chromosomes. He is the first one to point out that there are linked traits or certain genes are inherited together as against independent assortment of Grigor Mendel. He found out that there are some genes that are inherited together or that are linked. For his work with Drosophila, Morgan was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1933. Hope this video is beneficial. You understood this epic experiment. Share your thoughts. We have given a video on relationship between linkage, independent assortment and crossing over as an introductory video. 
you can watch that also take care stay blessed thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforay.com